Hi, I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News. This time we're taking you inside the brand new Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion, where they're on track to begin welcoming patients in January. Currently we're standing in the atrium of the Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion. A virtual tour is helping team members get familiar with the space as crews work through the final stages of construction. Folks who will work here will also visit in person over the next few weeks. When it's finished, the atrium, with its grand staircase and floor-to-ceiling windows, will welcome all our visitors. If you use your imagination and kind of think about this space over here, we're going to have a grand piano. Volunteer services will be looking for people to play the piano for maximum patient enjoyment. Music is just one part of the Henry Ford Healing Arts Program, which will create a soothing and calming environment. Over the next few weeks, we're going to show you the spectacular pieces of art that our team has commissioned for the Cancer Pavilion. We start that series with a tribute to our donors and our community. If this combination of glass and steel and wood does nothing more than catch a patient's eye, that's okay. We want people to be able to get their minds off of things for a moment. But if visitors to the Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion spend a little time looking, they'll find a multifaceted homage created by Detroit artists Eric and Israel Nordeen. Of the different styled sculptures that we make, one of our favorites is donor walls. We see them as sculpture, we don't see them as a list of names. So the brothers etched the names of more than 100 major donors in wood. They carefully arranged the pieces alongside colorful, hand-cast glass tiles until they looked like something familiar. This is almost like, you know, the different DNA of the givers coming together and, um, you know, creating this, uh, you know, wall of hope almost. Change your perspective and you can see a skyline. We always like to give tribute back to the city and Henry Ford's been in the city for a long time. If you're musically inclined, you may see what looks like the lights on a soundboard, a nod to the Motown Museum down the street. Look again, and you'll notice pipes from a church organ, tuning us in to the Northwest Goldberg neighborhood's spiritual roots. The organ was one of the coolest things that we had access to. The organ was salvaged from the church that once sat on the site. As a sign of commitment to the community, Henry Ford promised to preserve and repurpose materials from the church. Project Director Pam Hazel sees a connection between the old and new buildings. It's, you know, sacred work and it, um, people are at their most vulnerable. Um, we work day and night tirelessly to save their lives, to extend their life, to bring them comfort and encouragement and hope. The Nordines call the sculpture the DNA of hope. It's a way of representing and pulling together people. And pulling them in for a moment of peace. That single rose is a tribute to Brigitte Harris. Of course, there would be no cancer pavilion without that generous $20 million gift that her husband Mort made in her memory. Shout out now to our virtual care team. They've done incredible work this year expanding telehealth services. At last check, our team conducted more than 252,000 virtual visits and almost 124,000 telephone visits. That's a 1,383% increase in virtual visits alone. Compare that to 2019 when we did 17,000 virtual visits. Those numbers were shared in early December, so they will be even higher by the end of the year. Let's go to Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital now and get into the holiday spirit. With COVID in mind, they're finding new ways to spread holiday cheer. Each department has been assigned a window to decorate on the main floor. Using markers and paint, they brought some familiar holiday characters to life. When we were there, the team from Cardiac Rehab was hard at work. Judges will award first, second, and third prize. Finally, our featured photo. It's of a beautiful moment made possible by the teams at our hospitals in West Bloomfield and Detroit. Maria Stante spent 10 days at Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital before having to be transferred to Detroit. It was clear she wouldn't be home in time for her granddaughter's wedding. So staff at both hospitals worked together to make sure she got a moment with the bride and groom. 
We want to see how you and your team are living our values of compassion, innovation, respect, and results. So send us your story ideas or your photos. You can email us at newstips at hfhs.org. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.